Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Magnus. Today we're back over on our Rush to Max series with our Town Hall 12. It's been about a month or so since our last time we were able to come on this channel or come onto this account. Since then we have been passively doing some upgrades. When you look at where we were a month ago we had 14 months and 29 days so we had 15 months left in the lab and seven months and 10 days Sorry, we had eight months and 22 days left of upgrading on the account. Currently, we brought that down to eight months in a day, as well as taking about a week off of the lab itself. So with that in mind, we have our season pass as well as our clan game rewards to collect. What we're gonna look at today are what are some of the best options to capitalize with clan game rewards and season pass before everything expired in the last month we managed to complete all of our Archer Towers. They're now currently all max level for Town Hall 12. We also brought both Bomb Towers to level three, brought all cannons to a minimum of level 10 and took four to level 11. The other thing was we just completed four Wizard Tower upgrades to level nine. So looking at those, we still have two more levels on the Wizard Towers. We have a number of levels on the mortars. We also have quite a few levels left on the cannons. We also did some passive upgrades on things like traps overall. They were pretty much left alone. And we also brought all of our walls to a minimum level 11. Today, what we're gonna focus on is spending these books, spending this loot and taking more time off of the lab so that the result that we see here will be brought down to a more feasible number. We have also done a few upgrades on our heroes as we can see. The goal by the end of the Clan War League is to have our Queen to level 60. We're going to go ahead and we're going to spend some loot. The Wizard Towers looking at the cost and time are probably the best option right now. So we're going to go ahead, do the first one for 7.36. Using a book, we're going to finish that. We're also going to go in the treasury and do it again with the second one. We're going to use that on the second wizard tower as well. Now, with the loot that we have, we also want to take advantage of the books in the laboratory. So we're going to go into the lab. We're going to take care of the bat spell right away. That's 128,000. Book of Spells completes that. Looking back in the Season Pass Rewards, we also have a Book of Heroes, as well as these runes. We want to collect those. We're going to go ahead and we're going to spend the Dark Rune. We're going to upgrade our Queen to level 58. And we're going to collect the Book of Heroes that's in the Season Pass and use it on her right away, level 58. With the remaining loot, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spend it on the golem to take it up to level four, five day upgrade. But we're gonna use a book of fighting that we have to save that time right now. Using up all that loot, we can now go ahead, go into our pass and also go into our trader and pick up today's book of heroes. Best value arguably in the game. So now we'll refill the storage. We're gonna take her up to level 59 using the book. And then we'll use the hammer to take her to level 60. So the queen will be ready for the CWL starting in a few days. Warden currently going to level 38, so he'll be ready, almost maxed for the CWL as well. Pushing my next focus on this account to be maxing the Grand Warden to level 40 in the next month, as well as starting the BK. The next thing we're gonna do is we want to use up our gold as efficiently as possible so that we can go ahead and collect that gold rune and put down another wizard tower. So looking into our options of upgrades, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a cannon to level 11. So that's only a one day upgrade. And with our reigning 1.3, we're gonna go ahead and do a trap. We can go ahead, use the rune, do actually another two wizard tower level upgrades tonight all right so next we're going to go over to our clan game rewards and since we maxed out our points we're going to be able to collect all the tiers plus one 
So going in first, we're going to go for a book of fighting, a book of spells, the builder potions. We're actually also going to go ahead with the clock tower potion. And the reason for that is that we are putting in some work on the other side. So we're trying to get the auto hut unlocked. That is something that is going to be a very gradual upgrade. That's for another day. We're also going to go for the training potion over the Dark Elixir because with one training potion, we will definitely get more than 5.4 thousand. What is up with my Wi-Fi tonight? And we're going to go for the resource potion to make our research lab as efficient as possible. The last thing we're going to go for is going to be the Rune of Elixir. We'll come back for that within the next five days. With our books, we're now going to go into the lab again. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on the lightning spell. Currently at level six, this now goes to level nine. So what we're going to be able to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take it up to level seven now using a book. We'll also go ahead and we're going to use the uh, hammer up spells that we got from our last season, our last season uh, the CWL, bringing that up to level eight. So now our lightning spell is almost caught up and almost maxed. So what we're going to do with the remaining elixir that we have is we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to start our archers to level eight. By doing so with the book of fighting, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the hammer of fighting on these archers to bring them up to level nine. Now at max level and with 55,000 dark elixir left, we're going to swing over to our dark elixir side and we're going to go ahead and actually start with the minions. So that's a six day upgrade. We're currently now out of books and hammers. All right, before I wrap up the video, we did try and go out to the multiplayer and get some loot. We got absolutely crushed. And instead of just doing a boost, we're gonna put it off for now. We will check out how the other base is coming along. So currently we've got ourselves up to Builder Hall 9. That was very recent. So one of the things that we haven't yet done as of yet is actually build a new auto hut. So for those who do not know, the auto hut is an essential for getting access to the master builder to the main base. Checking out what's required for the auto hut. We're gonna need to gear up three buildings on the home base. That's something we have not done as of yet. That will be done in the upcoming days. Once those wizard towers and the uh, cannons and orders kind of free up, we'll, we'll invest some builders into that which will put a substantial pause on the builder base because the master builder will go away for what is it like a week to do that the candy carts have to be level 18 currently they are under upgrade to level 14 so we're getting there very slowly but surely Mega Tesla has to go to level nine as well. We just actually had ours go to level three. So again, we're about a third way there. We're getting there slowly but surely. The last thing is taking the battle machine to level 30. The only problem with that is that ours is level one. So that is gonna be the biggest grind on this base. So we're gonna take advantage of the runes in the next coming days before the season pass expires and capitalize on our lab our defenses and putting in battle machine upgrades as we can. So to wrap up this video, we're gonna come back to main base. We're gonna put the wizard tower down to level 10. Everything's still under build and boost from when we took them up to level nine. So I'm gonna take a quick second. I'm gonna update my tracker and let's see where we stand. So just comparing where we were at the beginning of this episode and to where we are now, with our five builders, we have successfully taken off nearly two months of upgrades, coming from eight months in a day and a half to six months and about six days and a half. We've also taken our lab from 14 months, 21 days and a half to about, well, 11 months and 23 days. So all in all, pretty awesome, pretty good success and pretty good efficiency using these items. Really bringing this, this account together. Can't wait to see what it looks like by the next episode, which will probably be sometime after the CWL. Guys, thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with us here today. 
If you do like the content, let me know now down below what you'd like to see us focus on in the next episode. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys, take care. Thank <laughs> you.